sudden Things have changed, stay inside and we will survive Good morning from beautiful Algarve, Portugal it's Sunday, another yet beautiful, extraordinary morning. I am not gonna get tired of saying this. What a beautiful, glorious day here in Algarve. It's like the middle of October. Uh, I think it's 20th of October or around this date, you know, when you are here, you kind of lose track of time. And today we are going to visit Tavira. Tavira is one of my favorite towns here and um, we are going to just uh, visit the main attraction because we are with a senior couple and we have to pace ourselves. If you didn't watch my previous videos, we are here with um, Flavi's parents and we have to be mindful about how we organize the schedule. We cannot just go and visit everything so in this video we are going to explore or trying to explore the main beauty the main points of attraction of Tavira and hopefully this video will get you a taste to visit Tavira when you are going to come here in Algarve but brace yourself because Tavira is a beauty of a city you truly have a lot to visit here so let's go we made a pit stop to the continent near Oliao because I forgot to put sunscreen and uh, we are going to buy some. Here the CPF is very important because the sun, even in the middle of, of October, November, December, all year around, it's very important to put uh, the CPF and uh, this is why we are buying it. And we are going to buy it from Wells, which is the pharmacy of Continente. We are now at Pedras del Rey Resort. This is a resort with some beautiful villas and beautiful setting. And you can hear because here you can uh, take a train that will follow the path to the um, uh, beach, a wonderful beach. And it's a very scenic road and we want to do that. Let's hope in October this train still works. This is uh, what we are going to try to determine right now. If the train works, we are going to take it from uh, that bridge over there and hopefully we are going to get to Praia do Baril when uh, you have the famous uh, graveyard with um, anchors from um, fishermen, I understand. I don't know uh, much about these anchors, but they are beauty to see. I saw some pictures on the internet and hopefully we are going to take the train. Return. Return. Four. Four persons. Uh, four persons? Yes. No, inside, inside. Here. Oh. <laughs> the earth is us and we are breathing better. Do we move? It should improve. Stay at home over the phone. All oh, is so quiet. Too quiet. And there is chaos. got lucky we catch the train and we arrived at Prado Baril. What an amazing scenery right? We started off with the dunes of Ria Formosa and then we walked through a forest so very diverse scenery very beautiful. Some people on the internet says that 1 euro 60 for um, one way it's a very steep price but remember this is um, free for the ones who are staying at the hotel in the resort and you only have to pay if you are coming here as a tourist and of course you can walk to the beach there is uh, this beautiful one kilometer and a half path and you don't have to take the train but i wanted to take the train uh, in order to film and i wanted to take the train in order to experience this beautiful train that it's maintained as uh, it was way back then. And now we are here, Praia do Baril, and we came from here, Pedras del Rey Resort. I don't know if it's just me or when I see a map I uh, can orient myself better and I know where, where I am, especially in a new environment. I see here we have uh, Baril Beach Cafe and this is the pontoon that uh, 
goes right on the beach alongside the dunes. I really really like how they did all that with the uh, natural materials like wood and uh, this rope here which is also natural. I love that and we are going to see the ocean first thing in the morning and maybe grab a cafe. I don't know we have a lot to film today so uh, maybe no cafe for now just right now. So this is the famous graveyard for anchors. Here in the 60s and 70s was a very active community who was fishing tuna but in the meantime the tuna is extinct and this is why the fishermen no longer fish here the tuna but they put these anchors in the remembrance of that community and they are here more than a hundred anchors and they are beautiful this place is really really beautiful you can come here to sit at the cafe to watch the ocean to sit at the beach or just uh, admire this beautiful sight of anchors the anchors used to attach the nets of the fishing gear to the seabeds. These had different sizes and weights. The smaller ones weighed about 300 kilograms, while the largest ones could weigh about a ton. Oh my god! Approximately 8 to 12 people were required to load the smaller anchors, and for the large one, an additional 20 people were needed. Initially, these anchors were transported to the boat and then to the sea, to the exact place where they dropped, thus securing the nets to the bottom. The assembly of the fishing gear lasted about 10 days and began with the lunch and first boat to the sea. The fishing season began in early April and ended at the beginning of October. The beach, the beach is very very grand. I didn't expect such a grand and large beach. So you have uh, here all sorts of amenities but also if you want uh, privacy this is so big that uh, you absolutely have that. <laughs> here at Praia do Baril and listen to the sound of the ocean. Oh my god, I could listen to this sound all day long and this is one of the most important reasons why people I think come to Portugal, besides the cost of living, is that uh, they like to live near the ocean. Children don't play, it's not okay, the fret is too strong, too strong, don't get it wrong. Keep your distance from your loved ones, loved ones Don't we move, it should improve Stay at home over the phone All is so quiet, too quiet And there is chaos, chaos, chaos And this bridge is a drawbridge, so it opens up for the boats to come in and it reminds me a little bit of the London Bridge. But really nice view over the, the Ria Formosa Lagoon. Really wonderful nature. I have to find another word for beautiful and wonderful because in all of my videos I keep saying beautiful, wonderful and it's getting boring and tiring for you I guess but uh, Portugal is beautiful and wonderful our second stop for today is Salinas de Tavira or the salt pans that uh, you can find near Tavira and um, I wanted to come and film here because I went to the Salinas uh, next to the Quinta do Lago and I really like that. I have a video there. I will link it below and here to see. And uh, this salt here has an amazing reddish color. It's more rosé color and um, it's very 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 beautiful. Let's roll up the drone and see it from above. Sudden, 
Things have changed, stay inside and we will survive World is in pause, the earth at pause and we are breathing better Don't we move, it should improve, stay at home over the phone All is so quiet, too quiet So Tavia is renowned for several products that are homemade and made by artisans in Tavira, but the main product that Tavira is known is this salt here from these salt pans. And the salt that uh, is made in these salt pans is so different from the salt that we buy in the stores, you know, regular salt, because of the manufacturing uh, process that it's 100% natural and if you are in Tavira you can buy some salt from the artisans and this will make for a wonderful present back home and a healthy one too. <laughs> I've read on the internet that in um, some uh, parts of the year you can find here this uh, amazing reddish color, rosé color, but I didn't expect to find it uh, right now. Truly, truly fortunate for me to find this color here because in the rest of the periods of the year I read that this is white not uh, this wonderful color. Salt pans are formed by tanks where as the evaporation concentrates the salt the water is transferred to shallow tanks. In the last tanks which are named crystallizers the water evaporates completely leaving the salt in the bottom very interesting process and all it's 100% natural. The salt pans are important place to feed birds and one have a habitat almost exclusive like the flamingos. Other species of birds that you can see here are the grey heron, the common spoonbill, the common flamingo, the dunlin, the common redshank amongst the others. I don't recognize any of these names because I'm not a bird fan or connoisseur, but maybe among us, among the fans of this channel, we have some bird connoisseur. Leave it in the comments, people. Leave it in the comments. All of a sudden Things have changed, stay inside and we will survive World is in pause, the earth at pause and we are breathing better Our first stop, Tavira, the actual town and we are here in the main square where you have the Mercato Municipal in one way on the other way you have the Jardim, the Tavira and here you have the Jilao River. So Tavira it's split in two by the Jilao River and you have several bridges across the river where you can walk or cross with a car and get from one place to another. Around the municipal square you have all sorts of restaurants where the people just take a coffee or a pastel di nata or just have lunch and admire this wonderful view over the Jilao River. Also the Jardim de Tavira it's a wonderful place to eat a gelato or just come and sit uh, on the bench and admire the birds and this wonderful fountain. <laughs> Furthermore the Jardim opens up into an amphitheater where uh, here in the summer are held all sorts of concerts and festive events and all in all it's a beautiful place to meet right here and of course a lot more restaurants. From this main square you can decide what you want to do next. Go right on the Roman bridge, which I understand it is named Roman bridge but uh, it, it wasn't built by the Romans. Or you can go left to the old part of the city and you, found, uh, you find there beautiful streets with shops and uh, the castle is over there, you can visit that or you can just sit here at a beautiful restaurant and again admire the view. Don't we move? It should improve. Stay at home over the phone. All is so quiet, too quiet. And there is chaos, chaos, chaos. 
This is Church of Misericordia or Igreja da Misericordia. It was built between 1541 and 1551 and this is one of the most uh, notoriety Renaissance constructions in the Algarve. It is decorated with motifs inspired by Italian engravings. The portal bears an image of Nossa Signora da Misericordia, Our Lady of Mercy, and with Saint Peter and Saint Paul on either side of her. To the castle. And up, up, up we go through there. I must warn you that this town has very steep climbs. It's very spectacular, but hard. It's hard for me. And here we are in this beautiful square where you have beautiful views of Tavira and Ria Formosa. You have the Jardim, you have the castle and a church. And this church has a beautiful uh, watchtower with a bell. And what you see there, that one is the Camera Obscura. We went here before in Tavira and we went in this Camera Obscura and it was a beautiful experience. If something, if you are geeky or a person passionate about the history, about technology, about physics, about how things work, you have to visit this Camera Obscura and it's really beautiful for the children. And this, this is the beautiful view from this uh, square. And now we are entering the gardens of the palace. Oh, this is my kind of setting. First of all, it has a lot of shadow. And we are in the midday and we need shadow, even if we are in the middle of October. Second, it's full of beautiful flowers and plants. And you can see they have names and you can learn about uh, each and one of it if you are truly, truly interesting in that. These beautiful arches remembers me of my time in Italy. We spent quite a lot of time in Italy searching for a house back when uh, we didn't know that Portugal is going to be our choice. And all in all, it's a beautiful place to spend a couple of minutes for a rest. Or maybe you can eat your lunch here if you have a sandwich with you. Of course, if you are adventurous, you can explore the walls of the castle that are mainly ruins, but you can explore them if you feel up to it. But for me, it's a hard pass because I think it's quite dangerous, especially for children. Chaos. Crossing the river Gilao on the Roman bridge, on the other side, you find another part of the old town and a myriad of restaurants and terraces and you just can take your pick. They have mostly a menu that includes fish and all sorts of uh, animals that come from the, <laughs> from the sea, of course, you would expect that from Tavira, but they also serve a lot of meats and of course desserts. So you just have to explore it and pick one. We sat down at this Irish pub, the Anchor I think it is named, that you can find across the Gilao River crossing the Roman Bridge and has a wonderful panorama over the water and the Roman Bridge has a wonderful breeze which uh, it was uh, wonderful to have in such a hot day like today and it serves Irish food. Of course that after a day of strolling around Tavira and in Tavira we wanted something uh, to eat, some comfort food and we ordered fish and chips, ribs and Flavius uh, had a Sunday roast which was a mix of um, meats beef with pork. The portions were very large, the prices were very good and all in all we had a wonderful lunch 
lazy lunch I would say because uh, the serving is a little slow but when you have such a view you don't really notice and we had a really nice lazy lunch looking over the Jilao River so uh, yeah if you like Irish food or uh, greasy food or you don't want to try Portuguese food just come here I really recommend this place this was it guys, our exploring of Tavira, barely scratched the surface. If you want to choose one town to visit in the Algarve, I would suggest this one. It's very laid back and it's very peaceful. You find here um, a lot of culture, history, you find here a lot of uh, Portuguese customs and all in all I think it's a good town to start exploring the Portuguese culture. I am going to say goodbye to you here and I'm going to let you in the company of some amazing shots from Tavira, Algarve, Portugal. See you in the next one! Don't get it wrong And keep your distance from your loved ones, loved ones Don't we move It should improve